Good morning everyone, my name is Michelle. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to another video. It is Thursday morning and this is another voiceover because I've got some things to show you and read you so it's just easier to do it this way. But this is footage from uh, me playing with the dogs earlier on so enjoy this while I'm talking. So I've got some case updates for you today. I've got Dylan Rounds, I've got the Delphi case, I've got Debbie Collier and I've got Summer Wells. So let's do this and start with Dylan Rounds. Yesterday, my time, Candice Cooley, Dylan's mother, posted on the Fine Dylan Rounds official Facebook group. And she says, update, we want to thank everyone for their continued support in keeping Dylan's face and name out there. He deserves justice. We have been working with Equisearch and I've had them ship their broad spectrum drone to us personally. We have ar arranged some pilots and we'll be covering some ground that we feel needs the technology this drone has. We will keep everyone posted and send some videos of it. I want to be very clear when I say that Box Elder County Sheriff's Office could have had this drone shipped to them beginning of August. They chose not to utilise it. That is why we have taken it into our own hands. I was told for weeks that they would have a date that they would use it via another LE office, and it just never happened. Equisearch was more than happy to ship it to us and let us utilise the technology. Once again, Box Elder County Sheriff's Office, thank you for the fail in helping us bring Dylan home. Box Elder County Sheriff's Office should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. What is it? What is it with these sheriff's offices who refuse outside help? Help from people who have the technology, who have the skill, and who want to help. I, I, I will never understand it. Is it ego? Is it cover up? I think it's ego. I think in most cases, it's ego. Look how um, Nevada County Sheriff's Office uh, got defensive when Adventures with Purpose found Kylie Rodney. Look how Hawkins County Sheriff's Office in the Summerwells case has not utilised all the help that could have been offered. Oh, makes me mad. Makes me mad. However, moving over to Indiana and the search of Wabash River has now concluded. So this is Peru, Indiana. So a lot of you will have heard of this. This search was going on for a long time, began on August the 19th. And there's been a lot of talk about Keg and Klein and what were they searching that river for in Peru? That's where Keg and Tony Klein live. Or, well, Tony, but Keg has been in jail for like ever. They would not confirm what they were searching for or what they may have found. The search appears connected to Keg and Klein, the suspect in the Anthony Schott's child P case. That's also connected with the Delphi murders. Search began on August 19th, the same day. Thanks, Cassie, for spraying wetness all over my computer. That's great. The same day, a court allowed state police to take custody of Klein under a sealed order. An attorney for Kegan told Essex this morning that he had no comment. So... Lots of speculation about this. The search has concluded, so does that mean that they've found something? Does it mean that they've exhausted the search and not found anything? There was, um, a few nights ago, there was, um, I don't know whether it was a, a troll that started it or whether it was just kind of this genuine buzz about the case that just kind of took over social media. There was some talk that... Um, Tony Klein had been arrested and there was more than one person arrested and there was going to be a press conference. Well, there wasn't. It didn't happen. But, um, yeah, watch this space on this case because I think it really is hotting up. Now, in the Debbie Collier case, the 59-year-old woman from Athens, Georgia, who was found dead, partially clothed and with her abdomen charred, hanging onto a tree at the bottom of an embankment. Um, I just want to point this out to everybody who might have missed it that the sheriff's office in, in that case have announced that it will be holding a public briefing on the investigation at 9am on Friday. So Georgia, I think, is Eastern time, correct me if I'm wrong. So that's going to be 
2 p.m. my time on Friday. If I can find where it's being broadcast and um, I can fit that, that into my schedule because it's like the middle of the afternoon, I'll stream it live. So watch this space. Now, here's some news about the Summer Wells case. Now, if you've been following the Summer Wells case, you will have heard of this. This is Exploring with Nug, who's got a good following here. He's got 440k subscribers and he is going out to search for Summer Wells. Where is missing five-year-old girl Summer Wells? So he did a stream about this a few days ago and he's going out there to search for Summer Wells. He's a similar kind of um, searcher to that of Adventures with Purpose. So I don't know whether he's just going out there to search the waterways or he's going to also be assisted in land searches. But it's great that somebody like Nug has agreed to take the case on. I don't know when he's going out there. TBI aren't doing anything, are they? Hawkins County Sheriff's Office certainly aren't doing anything, are they? And they've resisted help, in my opinion. They've not been welcoming to people, certainly not social media. You know, again, like in other cases, it's like they don't want people found. You know, we, can, we can easily go down the rabbit hole of this has got to be a cover-up. But I don't know. I don't know. As I said before, I think it's ego. I think there's ego involved. And these kind of communities not wanting outsiders in. And they don't want an outsider to do what they couldn't do. It's shocking, right? When there's a missing person, in this case, missing now six-year-old Summer Wells, in Kylie's case, a 16-year-old girl, <sighs> you need all the help they can get. And the TBI, they say that they've done three... Big scale searches, large scale searches. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. They have not. Just on the mountain that Summer lives on alone, they've only scratched the surface in those official searches. I mean, yeah, fair enough. The 13 day search they did right at the beginning of the case, that was intense. They threw everything at it in those 13 days. But they have not done three of those types of searches because search in November and then the one at the end of February, beginning of March, two days and one day respectively, just targeted, looking at specific areas. Is Nug going to be able to help? I don't know after 15 months. I really don't know. You know, look, I, my hands are tied. You know, if I lived there, if I lived in northeast Tennessee, I'd be there every single day. Every single day I would have been there for 15 months. <laughs> you know, Cassie would have been out there every day. That would have been her stomping ground every single day. But we just need more boots on the ground. We just need something. Something needs to happen with Summer's case. Something needs to happen. Is Summer still in that area? Is Summer still findable? I don't know, you guys, but we've got to try. Doing nothing isn't an option. I would have trained Cassie and we would have gone out there. Look, Cassie's a natural. She's just a natural. You know, you train him with a ball to get, get a specific scent, train him with a ball or a play toy. Yeah, Tilly's not keen on this kind of thing. Tilly had just come along for the ride. And then, um, yeah, but who doesn't want their property searched is another big question. Who would deny searches on their property? And there's a lot of talk about the property around Ben Hill Road. Some of you guys will have seen this. There's 104 acres of recreational land for sale on Ben Hill Road. Look at it. Look at it. What great playground that would be. That's for sale. Has that been searched? 104 acres on Ben Hill Road. Has that been searched? Look at it. How much is it? $175,000. Active sale, listed five months ago. Nobody want 104 acres on Ben Hill Road? I don't know. If I was there and I had that in my back pocket, that would have been mine. That would have been my search hub. Anyway, I'm just dreaming. I'm dreaming, guys, because I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated at the lack 
of progress in Summer's case. And becoming jaded and becoming just not surprised about the failings of law enforcement. And um, I support law enforcement. This is a thing. This is what frustrates me so much. I'm pro law enforcement, but it's just frustrating. It just is. It's just frustrating. That'd be great land. Land is cheap in Tennessee. That would be, I don't know how much that would be in the UK. I don't know how much that would be in the UK, 104 acres. A lot. Anyway, guys, I'm just waffling now. It's goodbye from Miss Tillington, Miss Cassie Springer, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. What's this? Thank you to the person who sent me a big bunch of these. Also, thank you to the person who sent me a big bunch, a big bunch of treats. And uh, I think I've had three parcels of treats. So thank you, because uh, this is what we do with them. Not you. Where is it? Is it? No more. You got them? Where is it? Oh, good girl. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh God. <laughs> You'll, you'll work for treats, will you? You'll work for treats. Mm. That bird's got a death wish. That bird has absolutely got a death wish. Thank <laughs> you.